and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is to explore the new 4.3 uh, option with the brush um, on layers. And the special feature that we just added to this brush, especially for window users, to where what you see is actually what you're going to get. All right. So we're going to explore that new option and the improvements that was made to the masking brush inside um, Luminar 4.3. And if you haven't downloaded your copy today, you should. It should have automatically uploaded or downloaded when you launched Luminar today. But if you didn't, on the Windows menu, click on Help, check for updates, and on the Mac operating system, go to Luminar and check for updates. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment and thank our partner, uh, Fuji Films, for helping us, for helping make these episodes possible. Fuji reminds us, stay safe, stay creative, and stay at home. And we're back. Great. Already, a lot of people are saying they love this new update. Now, to let you know, I talked to our tech support team, What's really exciting is this update is really designed for speed improvements and little things like the brush that makes our experience more pleasant. Now, I installed the update on both my uh, Surface Pro, the little Microsoft Surface Pro tablet, and on this Surface Station, and also on the Mac. Now, this is a pretty beefed up system. The only thing it doesn't have is a dedicated desktop graphics card. It has the um, the mobile version. It has 32 megs of RAM and so on. I see a huge improvement with this one. The other one I have, uh, my regular, my other Microsoft tablet is similar to this. I saw a good improvement. My Windows desktop machine, I saw an average improvement. But this Mac is a really old, old Mac, I've seen the most improvement with this to where it's usable again. Um, before, I had a hard time using it because it wasn't refreshing the way it should. Now, with its new update, it's just, it's amazing. So I rarely seldom use this Mac except for broadcasting. Um, so the improvements I feel when it comes to performance are great. All right. Now, I hope you guys are finding that too. And let me jump on over. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, typically, I would go in and do an edit for you, but what I want to do is get right into the brush. So I'm going to come up to the layers palette, and I want to add a new adjustment layer. Now, you'll see why I did this in a moment, and I'm just going to do a real quick, some putting some edits on here just so you can see how we're going to use the mask. Now, all I'm, all I'm doing right now is blurring the daylights out of the image, all right? So now the image is completely um, uh, soft, and I want the background to be the way it is, but I only want the bird to be in focus, and I put it on a layer, so this way, instead of me doing individual mask, I can just do one layer mask now. So I'm gonna do a brush command on that one layer, and it's gonna affect all the tools in that layer. Paint at 100% opacity. Ready? Let me get rid of that uh, highlight. And watch this. When I let go, notice the mask disappears. I'm gonna do it again. Actually, you know what? I did it again. I paint, I let go, paint, let go. So I did this so you can actually see. Look how blurry that all is. Remember, I want the background to be blurry, not this. But I wanted to show you that as soon as I apply the brush and let go, the effect is applied to the image. Now, I swapped it. If I had clicked Erase, then it'd be perfect. But I did this because I wanted to show you, don't forget, we have Invert Mask over here. So when I click on that, look what it just did. It swapped the mask. So now if I look at the mask, now the bird is going to be in focus. Everything else is going to be out of focus. So I kind of popped in two little lessons in there in one. 
So the one lesson was, if you're brushing over something and you realize you, you chose the wrong brush, just click Invert Mask and you'll be good to go. The second I wanted to show you is as soon as I applied the brush strokes to it and let go, you would actually see the effect. Now, a third option down in here, look at this. And sometimes we forget to show you this. I'm going to turn on the layer mask. I'm going to turn on the, the mask so you can see it. If I come down here to feather, look at this. I can actually feather the mask and bring it in even tighter. So by showing you the new feature, I also review some of the old features with you. So here we are, before and after. One more time. Look at this. How cool is that? And then if we want, like I said, we can come up here, add a new adjustment layer. And I think the greens are a little too, too much. So I'm going to bring, bring them back a little bit. And just the greens. And maybe darken them up. Here we go. All right. And then here we are with the brush. All right. Let me grab another one. The Netherlands. How are we doing? <laughs> um, let's do this. I'm going to open up. And I'll show you how I'm going to love doing this on portraits. Here we are. All right. Let's grab a portrait. Oh, her, her. Perfect. All right. Now, here we are. And by the way, did you notice something? If you're working with JPEG or if you're working with raw files, raw files open up a lot faster now. Um, they tweaked the system on that. And that was one of the comments that the support team was telling us is watch for your raw files. You'll notice they're, um, they're updating a lot faster. All right. So here we are. Let me just double check with, here we go. I want to make sure I'm at the very beginning of this. Good. Here we are. All right. Um, Big Mac. The masking is very cool. All right. Let's do this to make life easier. We'll go to portraits and then uh, make this a female portrait. Awesome. So I'm, and here's the other thing. You guys, I'll throw this in there too. When you hover over the looks, notice I'm not even clicking them. Oh, I like that one even better. When you're hovering over the looks, now it automatically gives you a preview of it. And we'll go, ooh, I like that too. You know, we're going to go with this one. And when I click on it, it's applied. All right? Look at that. So in the past, looks took a little while for it to generate. But look how fast that, that did this. All right, so let's look at this image real quick. We'll go to uh, Portrait Enhancer. I do want to lighten up her face a little bit more. Good. And the eyes, yeah, I, I got to get those eyes a little more. And dark circles. All right. So before, after. Okay, I'm liking this. Now a couple things I'm looking at. And I want to apply the mask again. So I want, to, I, want to, I want to figure out, is it the hair that's bugging me? Or is it the rocks? Um, what, I, what I think it is, I definitely think it's this rock here. So let's come over here to the Pro Tools. And I want, oh, I'm sorry, let's go to the uh, Creative Tools. And we're going to click on Glow. But I want Soft Focus. And I want to crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Yeah, right about there. That's better. And bring the brightness down a little bit. Right about there. All right. So that's what I like. I wanted to see this here. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. But I don't want it on her face. So traditionally, we would come in and I would hit a radio mask. But for now, I just want to show you, again, with that brush tool. So we want to erase the effect. And let's start at 100% opacity so we can build up. Let me shut off that highlight. Ready? So I'm erasing. As soon as I go over it, I let go. Look at this. 
So now I can see in real time, am I applying too much, too little? Nope, I like that. I think what I am gonna do though is go to 100% and zoom in really tight on just the eyes. And now I'm gonna brush just the eyes. Look at that. And it's showing me exactly what it's gonna look like. While I'm here, if you're gonna do the eyes, you really should do the eyebrows. And watch this when you're um, editing a portrait underneath the nose nostril. There we go. So when you're doing an edit like that, there, look at that. When you're doing an edit like this, make sure you don't forget the eyes, eyebrows, and underneath the nose, not, the nose makes it look a lot sharper. Now I have a choice. I could increase, decrease, but notice the mask is not being affected now or the face. And there we go. Good. So before and after. Boom. All right, guys. How awesome was that? So the new feature, like I said, for the brush, I wanted to just stick with the brush for now. I love the idea that we're able to mask on an area, let go, see in real time where we're at, and then go back at it. It doesn't seem like it's a big deal to the average person, but for us, especially if you're doing portraits, you realize that in the that was something we were missing, and that wasn't even a feature we asked uh, the see the uh, engineers to create. This was something they came up with, and I thought, wow, that's awesome. There are a lot of other cool little features that we're going to deal with next week that they snuck in on us, and I want to share those with you too. And if you find your favorite one, let us know and put them in the comments below. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to hit, to hit that thumbs up to show us you like the video and the content. And thank you so much for supporting uh, Luminar Coffee Break. And I'll see you on the next one next week.